guys, another video from Gotta Play the Mall here. Um, for Silent Hunter 5, I wanted to show you something that eludes many new players, and even some players that have been playing for quite a while. I know it eluded me for a long time when, when I first um, started playing the game, and that is the fact that you can actually man the hydrophone. You can actually man the hydrophone system yourself, and you can do a lot better job than your actual hydrophone operator. So I am going to, I'm going to um, show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to get out into some traffic here, so that we can listen in on all of these contacts here, and I'm going to see if we can't find something that I can hear that the hydrophone operator can. Minimum speed ahead. Now I am using the voice recognition system, um, so if it does anything wonky, that's the reason why. I forgot to turn it off before I started recording. So I'm sure you're aware of how the hydrophone works, basically, um, so yeah, I'm sure you're aware that it basically listens to sound underwater listens to sounds underwater that is and as long as your decks awash or or lower periscope depth to 20 meters is definitely ideal then you are um, you'll get sound contacts instead of visual contacts and I uh, I strongly recommend uh, decks awash which is about 7.5 meters that allows you to get visual that allows you to get visual and sound contacts. Now, this depends on what kind of uh, hydrophone you're using. I'm using the uh, the GHG or whatever, the one that's uh, rotatable and it sits on the front of your ship. There, the one you can see rotating. It only works when you are when it's underwater. However, the the one that you start off with, the KG b or the kg gkg or whatever the crystal hydrophone listening apparatus the original one it has a bunch of sensors down your uh down your hull and it allows you to um most of the time pick up contacts when you're on the surface or maybe six or 6.5 meters so yeah there's voice recognition doing more stuff so it can definitely be um more useful but you you can't operate it like you can this one so using the rotatable g ghg one or gbg or whatever it's called is definitely preferable whoa getting time compression commands anyways let's uh we're around some shipping now we've got some boats behind us we've got some boats in front of us we've got some boats um to the so yeah, we got some boats to um, starboard, one one forward and to port. We've got one aft, and we've got one very far starboard and slightly aft. So I'm uh, I'm gonna stop the boat. Um, having your engines stopped is definitely gonna help you. You you really can't hear much if your engines are started, as you may have, as you may know how the basics work. Now I recommend that. Um, you shut off these doors that door and this door it can uh, it can help you hear things a little bit better so in the hydrophone station um, we have the dial for turning the location of the hydrophone apparatus we have the bearing um, dial indicator this indicates where it's um where it's turned at listening to currently and we have the volume adjustment knob now i've played with the volume adjustment knob a bit and it doesn't make a lot of difference so i tend to uh just crank it up so when when you're whoops when you're walking around the ship all you do is you just click on the hydrophone station and then you're now in control of it voice control doing its job again you can hear now we're listening to just random sea noise you can hear it. that's what you'll hear at all times unless you're in stormy weather or whatever and so yeah this is the volume control knob you can use your uh, mouse wheel to turn it up or down so you can see how that turns so i usually turn it all the way up like that there's my game pausing from voice recognition again i may have to re-record this with that turned off anyways and this knob it works the same way with your mouse wheel you can get you can quickly rotate it or you can use home up and home down to do that 
So all you do is you do a sonar sweep to try to hear um, noises of different boats. Now I'm not hearing anything, so so I'm just gonna order. Uh, well, let's see, what's the depth under the keel? Depth keel yeah, we have lots of room, so I'm just gonna set periscope depth. depth. Depth on the keel is 37 And let it, let it do its thing. Periscope depth. 20 meters is optimal, so I might even set it to 20 meters, actually. New depth to zero meters. If I tune into 180 roughly, we might be able to hear that as we start to submerge. Yep. That is the boat just aft of us. You can hear the propeller noises starting. Anyways, um, the dial should roughly indicate to the lines on our uh, tactical display map here. Because I'm roughly pointed north. So you can see um, my hydrophone's pointed about 180. So I would guess that it's one of these two merchant contacts here. And so you can you can hear how we we just barely hear it turning, and eventually, with enough practice, you'll learn um, what sound means what kind of boat and how fast it's it's turning. So, judging on this speed, I count it kind of like around four to six revolutions per second so i would say that's about five to seven knots so if i try to hover over that apparently it's not that contact not that contact three knots okay i was a little bit off obviously i need a bit more practice but um Or this is one that it just doesn't show on the screen but eventually you'll get a feel for what sound um, you can get a general idea of a ship speed based on how fast the uh, the screws are turning in the water and you get obviously the faster propeller turning sound also warships make a lot different so let me see if I can pick up one of these warships and since we're so close that it, it should even show in the uh, type here I'm gonna use the home and end keys to get more precise movements you can see there's another merchant they're all making roughly the same speed just a few knots So we know there's a warship directly in front of us, way off though, it's a fair distance away, let's see. It's five clicks off, making ten knots, oops, I just fired a torpedo by accident. And set my time compression. You can see it's picking it up right around 3.52 and it's telling it's a warship. You can hear how it has a much different sound than a merchant. And you can hear how the propellers are moving a little bit faster. You can hear the... Slightly faster. So obviously he's making 10 knots. So he's going slightly faster than any merchants. If you pick up a contact, it won't necessarily show on, on the map. So you will have to plot it manually on your... Your... Um, on your map. I don't hear anything that would um that wouldn't be on my map so I'm gonna go tr see if I can find something that I can hear that's not on my map so I'll pause the video and be right with that alright so basically I'm sitting at 1920 meters basically just off the ocean floor that's as deep as I was allowed here um I'm dead stopped more or less. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm rigged for silent running. And I've marked off on the map. I've marked off um, with the marker the X's. That's where I had visual contacts when I was Dexa Washer on the surface. So there was a few of them there, especially near into the uh, pen, the harbor there. The, uh, the 
the uh, ruler lines, the distance lines, that's where I had a sound contact when I was Dexa Washer on the surface. And the, uh, the protractor, um, or sorry, the compass lines, yeah, the compass lines, or circles, I guess you could say, is um, where I got new sound contacts when I, when I submerged. So there was only this, this one here. Now, so apparently the hydrophone operator can't pick this one up or it's moved for some reason. However, it was here and it's now moved there in a short period of time. So I would say this is probably all the same contact. Um, this one, apparently he's not picking it up directly to the port um, side of our boat, even though I believe there is a boat just outside of us there. Yeah, you can see it's it's direct directly directly uh, port of us. So I had it marked off. It's moved forward a little bit, but yeah, apparently he can't hear that at all. Uh, I don't know if it's making any speed. I can't tell because I obviously can't hover over it in this in this capacity. But I would imagine his he's uh, he's moving. If we unpause the game, yeah, his screws are turning. I'm going to see if, well, I want to first note that I'm head, I'm pointed straight north, so zero degrees, which by the way, you can get by opening up this little button here, and the one above it is to return to course if you've never noticed that before. Anyways, I'm going to see if we can, uh, if we can find these contacts and mark them off, and I'm going to see if there's anything we can't hear or that my hydrophone operator can't hear that I can hear for example this boat just port of us so that's what I'm gonna try to illustrate here by to show how powerful the hydrophone can be in your hand so let's try it out so we hear strong engine sounds that's that warship at bearing three four four He's now moving, he's moving, um, port to starboard, he's moving, he's moving east, so, but, let's see if we can pick up this guy that, that, um, the boat doesn't seem to pick up, let's make sure he's still off of our, still off of our starboard, yeah, he's still there. And it looks like he's still making turns, so let's see if we can't hear him. For whatever reason, I am not getting that merchant, though. Very unusual. Just about directly behind us, there's a contact. So that would obviously probably be one of these boats here. But you can see how the hydro there was time compression again. You can see how the hydrophone operator hasn't hasn't marked it on the map, hasn't picked it up for some reason, but yet I can still hear that there's a contact directly directly after us, directly behind us. So one of those boats that I marked that I had visual contact on before. But the uh, the hydrophone operator can only can only at the moment hear these um what is it three these three warship contacts now warships make a lot more noise but still within this range we are what so probably less than a couple clicks yeah 2.2.5 um, meters at the most so he should be able to hear them no problem even if they're merchants but I can I can definitely hear that one. And yeah, he's making turns for three to seven knots. Another one at one three zero. That that I think that's most likely the warship. Anyways, thanks for watching another video from the team here at Gotta Play It All. I hope this helped you a little bit, and I hope you uh, now know how to man the hydrophone station. So good hunting, and we'll see you next time.